Alright, so this is another podcast from Mrs. Weber's Chemistry, and today we're going to be giving a lesson on stoichiometry. So all of you are going to become very very familiar with stoichiometry here in a bit, because you're going to, get a, going to get a pretty hefty packet on it, but in the end it'll be worth it because you'll be masters at stoichiometry and it'll be really easy. So the first problem we're going to do is we're going to convert 500 atoms of chlorine to how many moles of chlorine. And so the first thing that Mrs. Weber teaches you is that there's a formula for stoichiometry and it goes, you put what you got over 1 and then you put what you want over what you got. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put 500 atoms of chlorine over 1. And then it says you have to put what you want over what you got. So in the end, we want moles of chlorine. And so to make up one mole of chlorine, there ha we would use this thing called Avogadro's number. And it's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. An Avogadro's number basically is just a number. It's kind of like a ton. For example, if you wanted a mole of eggs, you'd have to have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd eggs to make up a mole. So it's just another number like any other one. And then when you figure this all out on your calculator, you figure out that it equals 8.31 times 10 to the negative 22nd moles of chlorine. And that was your first example. And this is our second example of stoichiometry. And in this problem we're going to convert 50 grams of chlorine to moles of chlorine. And so we're going to do put what you got over one again. So we're going to have 50 grams of chlorine over one. And that's our first step. And then we, what we want is moles of chloride. And But we need a conversion factor to go from grams to moles. So when you're dealing with weight, what you have to look at is you have to go to your periodic table and you have to find the molar mass of the certain element that you're looking at. And in this case, the molar mass for chlorine is 35.45 grams. And that equals one mole of chlorine. And then if you figure it out on your calculator, you'll find that it's 1.41 moles of chlorine. And that was your second problem. And now for our next problem, we're going to make it a little bit harder. Instead of just being a two-step problem, it's going to be a three-step problem. So instead of just going to, from atoms to moles, we're going to go from atoms to grams. And so the first step we're going to do, just like all the other ones, we're going to put what we got over one. And then in order to cancel out atoms, we have to put atoms on the bottom of again, on the bottom again. But we have to find a pit stop so we can get from atoms to something else, which will go to grams. And a good pit stop that we always use is moles. You can use moles to convert almost anything to something else. And so it's going to be the major pit stop that you use in multi-step equations. And so in order to get one mole of chlorine, we have, again, Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And that will equal one mole of chlorine. And then in order, and our final step, what we want to get is we want to get grams. So in order to cancel out moles, we'll put moles in the bottom. And we want to get grams on the top. 
so in order to get to grams, we're going to have to look and we want, we're going to get one mole of chlorine and then we're going to say that it equals the molar mass that you found on your periodic table, which is 35.45. And then when you put plug that all in your calculator, what you're going to find out is it equals to 2.94 times 10 to the negative 20th grams of chlorine. And so that was our lesson on stoichiometry. And if you need any more help, you can always ask Mrs. Weber.